Hi, everybody. Mark Burdig with Jordan Feast, the offensive coordinator for the Cambria Heights Highlanders, the newcomer to the Heritage Conference. Coach, welcome. I know uh, Coach Jared Lewis couldn't make it today, so we appreciate you taking time with me. Uh, talk about the move from the Laurel Highlands to the Heritage and what the reaction has been in uh, Cambria Heights School District. Sure. Thanks for having us, Mark. Uh, we're excited. You know, this is this is something that's you know brings about new opportunities for us. Uh, we get to travel to some different stadiums and, and you know get to play some new faces and you know make new relationships with with coaches and you know in a whole new conference. So we're very excited about it. You know, sometimes you can maybe sneak into a conference as a newcomer, but in light of uh, whipping Marion Center 34 to nothing in the playoffs, I don't think there'll be any sneaking. I think that was an attention getter for everybody across the Heritage Conference, like the shot across the bow. But, um, you know, it was just one of those nights where everything went well for you uh, out at Marion Center. But, you know, that being said, I, th I think it probably gives your group confidence coming into the league. Sure, we definitely have confidence, but uh, our kids are humble. They, they know they know the hard work that it takes to be successful. Um, you know, we, we've, we've done it for the, you know, the, the past few years, you know, in the Laurel Highlands. And we know it's not going to be any different, you know, moving over into, into the Heritage Conference. Uh, but you know that's why that's why you play each week. You know, one week it could be a 34 nothing win. The next week you're you know you're battling the fourth quarter. So every game's different. Every you know every matchup's different. So you know we're excited. I think he's waiting over in the weeds here. But uh, one of your key returnees, Ryan Halushka, 184 carries, 906 yards, 13 touchdowns last year. Uh, hard nosed runner, just power football, right? Yeah, I mean he's he's a workhorse for us, and I'm sure you know when you bring him on and you ask him, he's he's going to credit his offensive line because you know a lot of it, uh, a lot of his success is determined by them. Uh, you know, and it's a it's a very uh, symbiotic relationship. <laughs> what are the expectations for the Highlanders this year? You return seven seven offense, eight on defense, so obviously you have a nice nucleus coming back. Sure, we do. Uh, we bring a lot of our a lot of our backfield back, um, you know, and, and a few players on on the offensive line are coming back as well. Um, so we're excited to get those guys back with a with another year of experience under their belt. Uh, you know, you know, we're we're definitely excited to continue playing our brand of football. What would be concerns, coach? Uh, concerns would just be would be maybe a little bit of depth. Um, there are some places that uh, we got some younger guys that need to step up, um, you know, and fill some shoes, you know. But like you said, we do return a lot both on, on both sides of the ball. So, so that we're, we're excited about that. What about the roster size? Uh, roster size is is pretty much what it's been the past three or four years. Um, you know, we're in the, we're in the mid forties, you know, and and that's that's where we've been. So so we feel pretty comfortable being there. You know, we have a we have a good group of of underclassmen that we know if they need called upon, they'll be ready to answer the bell. One thing when you're in a conference for a good number of years, unless there's a a big coaching shakeup at a school, uh, you kind of get familiar with schemes from year to year, from opponent to opponent. That won't be the case this year. You know, with video and everything, it's fairly easy now. But uh, is it will that make you and your fellow coaches and and head coach Jared Lewis's job maybe just a little bit more difficult? Yeah, I think that element's definitely there. Um, you know, it, it, preparation is, is huge. It's it's probably the most important part of being successful. So, um, you know, we we've been doing our homework already. You know, like you said, there is a lot. There's a lot that's available online. Uh, you know, we have a pretty good rapport with with some of these guys already. You know, in this conference, you know, especially like Coach Page and Coach Packer from Penn's Manor. So, yeah, the the it, it's definitely there. Um, we know that that's definitely going to be a challenge, but that's part of the game preparation. Speaking of Coach Page, your first game of the year will be at Homer Center on August 27th at Memorial Field. Kind of a cool atmosphere in the middle of town. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to that. Oh, we're very excited. Um, we know we know they're they're certainly a formidable opponent, and uh, and it's and we're gonna it's gonna be a tough matchup week one, and we're excited about it. Jordan, thanks for doing this. We wish you and your team the best of luck. Welcome to the Heritage Conference. Hey, thanks for having us, Mark. Okay, Jordan Feast, offensive coordinator for the Cambria Heights Highlanders, joining us as we preview the 2020 season. I'm Mark Burdig for Renda Media.